and welcome to episode 22 of the Age Bomb and J-Rock unboxing show and the second of our Halloween special with the Ghostbusters. I'm Henry Age Bomb Higgins. And I'm Josh J-Rock Higgins. Thank you for remembering your name. And this is the Age Bomb and J-Rock unboxing show Ghostbusters special as we said. And after having the new Ghostbusters, the rebooted Ghostbusters in the previous video, we now go back to my childhood when I was his age, watching these guys as it is the original Ghostbusters, which is Peter Renkman, Ray Stantz, Winston Zedmore and Egon Spengler. Now, with these, they are a build figure as with the previous one. However, unlike having a character from the movie, these ones build the No Ghost logo. The Ghostbuster symbol for you and I. So, are we going to do the same we did before? Right to left? Yes, we are. Okay. So, who do we have first? The first figure we have is Winston Zedmore. Winston Zedmore. Now, Winston... Uh, spoiler, sorry, for a 30 year old film, was not one of the original, original Ghostbusters. They were originally a three man team of Peter, Ray, and Egon. But things were getting so hectic, they actually had to advertise for a fourth. And Winston was our man. And um, it's a shame that he didn't get more prominent roles in later movies. And outside the Ghostbusters franchise. Although he did make a fantastic appearance in The Crow. Now, this one comes with an eerie scene of the New York skyline for the figures to pose in. So we'll obviously make good use of that. We'll put that there for now. We have that box there. Now, looking at the material here, it's possible that this is actually a glow-in-the-dark figure. Based on the colour, what do you think, Zero? I think that as well. Um, I, know, I don't think that anyone can see it, but if you shine it into the light, it does show a lot in a weird mm. colour. How is he stuck in there? No, oh, there's elastic in him. Okay, then it's spot there. Right? Oh, it's just stuck in. In terms of. Okay, so we'll place them there. And we have. I just want to put that up in the box while I get Winston out. Um, Winston, it's the classic Proton Pack, um, a lot more tubes and wires than the original, uh, the new Ghostbusters figures. If you have a look there, obviously it's a good likeness of the character. And the Proton Pack is obviously very reminiscent of the original Ghostbusters movie, uh, with the wiring, bare wiring. So obviously it was a prototype, that's what it was, they were, they were winging it. Uh, the Ghostbusters logo on his arm there, uh, name Zedmore, and articulation as expected, similar to the previous figures they were looked at, uh, ankles, knees, hips, thighs, elbows, shoulders, wrists, and the head. And that is actually a very, very, very good likeness of Winston Zedmore. Um, what do you think, my young puzzle? I think as well. You think as well, do you? Well, the same as you. Yeah, that I mean, bit. I kind of covered it, didn't I? Yeah. Um, but do you see what this little pump there? There's obviously different from the previous figures. Yeah, they have so that's that's interesting. Really gen. Yeah. So that's interesting. Oh, that's actually quite creepy because it just looks like a ghost coming out from the ground. Ooh. Okay. So up next, I just put him, just put him down for now. Who do we have next? Next character we have is Egon. 
It looks like he's got the ghost's bum there. Didn't know ghosts had bums, did you? Well, thing under the back. So. I wonder if Slimer had a bum. Yeah, looking at this, they all look the same stand again. It's the head. No, it's not. It's not the head, that's the head. Yeah. So this is obviously the stand for the No Ghost logo. This goes in the stand for the So yeah, that'll things. be the lower half there. Eh? So we can put that there. And I believe he's probably packed in with some rubber there. So now that we're aware of its existence, we can suck it. Rock. I'm always scared I'm gonna break the figure one day if I do that. Yeah, because these are quite delicate joints sometimes, don't they? Yeah. Okay. So, as of all the figures in the last episode, look so these two, they all have the same uniform. Thing. Um, pack. Um, and it's just the head that's different. But since Ghostbusters is awesome, mm -hmm. it's obviously going to be an awesome figure. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, by then, again, they, they had only one version of the Proton Pack. So obviously, they, they were just. When watching the movie, they were just starting out. Um, it's another very, very good likeness of the character. Down to the hairstyle. Obviously, the hair is plastic rather than hair. But it's a great figure for the collection. Next up, because obviously we are keeping the best for last, is Ray Stance. He comes with the body and the other arm of the ghost. So they're actually quite well packaged in the box, but the it's not the twisty ties, which are always, I think, the bane of anyone's existence when you're taking something out of the box because they, they can be so ugly to deal with. Why don't you just cut them with a the knife? That's what I do. Because sometimes they're in an awkward position. Hmm. But no, I mean, if you can cut them with a knife, then obviously do so. Um, a lot quicker. The Ray figure is unmistakably Dan Aykroyd, but by the same token, it's not as accurate as the other two we just looked at. Similar again, obviously, the prototype, proto pack, uh, stance name, same jumpsuit, obviously, same figure. As with the previous figures, the proton pack are actually strapped on. So if you wish, you could most likely remove them if you needed to. Why you would want to, don't know. But again, it depends how you wish to pose them. Uh, with the articulation that they have, there is a number of great posing abilities, posing opportunities. And you can see there, obviously you can see the scale of the figures. There is one thing which will be a lot different compared with these figures. What's that? Because these figures, you could actually take the pack mm -hmm. off entirely. These yeah. ones, they actually have a little thing stuck into the plastic. Yeah, so that while well, you can take them off, they are actually still there. Now, what's interesting is with the female Ghostbusters, it looks like they're actually, even though they're done, it looks like they're built to scale. These ones, again, seem to be roughly all the same size. So that'll be an, that's an interesting thing that they've done there. And. Lastly, for these, we have Peter Vinkman, also known as 
the main character of the movies. It's an interesting idea of whether the Ghostbusters would have worked without Peter Rinkman or Bill Murray, sorry, and the way he played the character. Of life. Wow, very, very <laughs> deep, my son. No, but very, very true. I'm not saying it's not true, it's very deep, though, for a ten year old. I don't know his mother's teaching him. So, Peter Rangman is actually a very good likeness <laughs> of Bill Murray. I actually got, if you can see there, if we come a bit closer, I don't know why I'm walking, I'm just glide him. You can actually see there's actually a little sarcastic, so don't look on his face. Uh, and obviously there'll be pictures at the end of the video, you can get a better look. Uh, articulation's the same as with all the previous figures. Ankles, knees, hips, thighs, twist around, shoulders, elbows, wrists and the neck. And yeah, the put on back. Quite original. So, those are again another good set of figures that we have there. And that leaves us the builder figure. So let's build the builder figure here. So the torso just clips together. The head. Yeah, that isn't quite perfect, but it is in and it is on. As you can see there, it obviously is the Ghostbusters logo in 3D, basically. And does its job adequately enough, and I do believe it's, it's glow in the dark. So, that can go there as well, and that leaves us with the Ghostbusters figures, <laughs> and there. If the figure is glow in the dark, you will see some pictures of that at the end. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what we can do with that as well. So, that is the Ghostbusters build a figure for the classic collection of the team. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for taking the time to view the two Halloween videos this weekend, episodes 21 and 22. We will be back with episode 23 with the next Z-Box, because I had confirmation that was dispatched. Uh, the theme there is Chaos, so who knows what's going to be in that. Uh, although V for Vendetta was the image on the back of the magazine last time, so it's possible there'll be something V for Vendetta-ish in the box. But thank you very much, as I said, for watching. Please like the channel. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone to give us a go. I've been Henry H. Bomb Higgins, this is my son, J-Rock, and we will see you again next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.